Welcome. We're going to go over a few things we didn't go over in the last video. Uh, we're going to go over what type of acrylic you should get. Uh, we're going to go over tape measure, tape method, uh, homing your job start with the paper method. Uh, we're going to go over should you remove the top piece of paper from the acrylic or should you leave it on during your cut and just briefly touch on cleaning up your project once you're done cutting it. So after the first video I had a lot of responses where the acrylic was gunking up around the bit when they went to go cut. They could do the detail fine but it was gunking up when they went to go doing all the cutting or the depth work. That's probably because they were using extruded instead of cast uh, acrylic. So the difference is extruded uh, has a lower melting point. So it's going to melt sooner than cast resin will. And that's what you're going to want to look for when you're getting your acrylic. Uh, I'll leave a link down below of the stuff I get off Amazon. And if anyone has any recommendations for what they've used, uh, leave them down in the comments and let's all try them out. Um, so the reason we want a higher melting point is because the 3018 is a, a tortoise, not a hare. Um, we got to go slow. So we need that time and it's going to generate a lot of heat. So with the cast acrylic, you're going to be able to cut. You're going to, it's going to look like a wintry wonderland. Basically is what it's going to start to look like. Um, and this is come. I, I have my machine out in the garage, and I live in Texas, and I had this thing running in August where it was between 90 and 100 degrees outside, cutting, no issues. I had no meltage. Um, meltage? Funny word. Sometimes uh, during the cut, I would go through and I would vacuum it off, but that was just more to see, see what it looked like and just see if the percentages on the... Uh, controller were pretty accurate see see where it was at in the job one of the things i do like about buying the cast acrylic is that it does come paper faced on both sides um that really works out for the tape uh just painter's tape now what i have found is there's some painter's tape out there that is kind of rough and it in the super glue don't seem to agree with each other so try to get smooth painter's tape and what you're going to want to do here is first, you know, you're going to put your layers on your spoil board and just put the ever so slightly overlay between layers. Um, and this is because I've had, if I had just even a tiny little spot where it can get through, it went in to the spoil board and that was no fun. I had to go sand it down. So just the tiniest overlap and I don't seem to have any problems with super glue getting through. Now, after we've gotten all the pieces down on the spoil board, starting corner is going to be where you want it to be. Turn it over and again, cover the back of the acrylic with uh, painter's tape, just like you did the spoil board. Um, and then Jason Pollock's the back of that thing. Probably not in technique, but in final result. Um, you're going to want more where you're actually cutting as opposed to the side where you're not going to be cutting anything. You don't have to get as crazy there. So, but parts where I'm cutting, I know I make sure scribble back and forth with the super glue and you'll get a good stick. And again, I don't use any tabs. I just use this method and never have any issues with it coming loose or anything like that. You will want to put, make sure you have a little bit of overhang on both sides uh, on your spoil board. Um, it, it can seem a little wasteful, but just having that and again, it prevents any uh, super glue from leaking out over the sides getting onto your spoil board. So just make your best judgment call there. How to job zero. So basically, I, I do have the probe 
it never seemed to really work for me. So I have done 3D printing a lot and we used the paper method in that. So I was just felt really at home. Um, jog your X and your Y to where the starting corner you want it at. And then jog down your Z uh, till you're about a millim one, two millimeters above the start. Then just take a, a regular piece of computer paper, put it under, kind of start moving it back and forth, and then slowly bring down Z uh, until you, you feel it catch. And at that point, you're going to you're gonna stop moving the paper. And this is where you kind of have to see where your machine is. This is the part where you get to know your machine. Um, I have two printers on the FDM printer. I normally have to go 2 to 0.2 to 0.3 millimeters down from where it catches on the paper. On my SLA, catches on the paper, go down 0.1, and I'm set. So find, this is the part where you need to find out how your machine is going to react and where you, how many you need to go f down from there uh, once it catches. And of course, just take those some baby steps and keep going down. So if it doesn't cut all the way through, that's fine. And you have like half a millimeter of plexiglass that can just pop out. And you'll, you'll have to spend a lot more time on the cleaning process, but it doesn't kill it. Just be gentle with it as you pop it out. Paper will help uh, catch some of those shards and you haven't lost a piece. So every time just kind of find where that sweet spot on your machine is um, and just go down 0.1 millimeter each time. All right, so this leads into should I take the top piece of paper off my acrylic before I cut? Well, I think that's really going to depend on what you're doing. Uh, but for these, if you're doing the edgelet signs, I say take it off. Uh, otherwise, you're going to be using uh, tweezers to try to, if you have a lot of fine detail, to pull that paper off and you run into the risk of scratching. Fun. Um, all that time. <laughs> and then you mess it up with a pair of tweezers. So uh, I say take it off, do your jobs uh, homing, and go from there. Cleaning up your cut piece. And this is just simple. Just take some sandpaper, you know, start with 100 work your way uh, to where you feel comfortable just be careful that sandpaper will scratch the acrylic so take a little piece take your time again you don't want to ruin it like he like i did with tweezers and pulling paper off but uh this is something you need to do uh if you have a dremel try that uh if you feel safe uh doing that and getting that close <laughs> i just take cut off a little piece of paper and Work on it for a good 5-10 minutes, just clean it off, get in the uh, depth where we cut for the insert, get that sand down with the bottom of it so it's nice and smooth. Uh, then go in and clean up and get any of the artifacts that are left over, just make it look nice. So that's uh, everything for this video. Uh, I'll work on some more. If you have anything you particularly want me to go over, leave a uh, comment down below and we'll cover that in the next video. And until then, everybody, happy cutting! I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.